Okay friends welcome back and in this polymer tutorial we will start off with iron pages which is actually the backbone for creating routing in case of polymer.js so first we will have to go on to elements.js file and add this in the uh, iron pages reference out here so after adding the iron page re reference I have actually created a new element and we will have to put in an iron tag so I will just show you completely how to do that just remove all this full and okay so all you have to do is put an iron pages tag okay and give it a selected attribute okay. and what selected attribute actually requires is that a numerical value that that would actually correspond to the number of the element or the position of the element that it has to show so I'll just put in here like four divs okay just paste in like one okay two three and then at the end I'll just put in four okay okay so maybe I'll just remove the fourth one and what this number actually corresponds to is the position of the element that it has to show and it starts from 0 so actually the 0 position will correspond to this div out here and if I just change this to 1 this will correspond to this div and similarly if I just change this to 2 so what will go on is that this is 0 this is 1 and so, so this will be 2 okay so all we have to do is make a javascript function that would kind of increase the selected attributes value um, co correspondingly after each click or something like that okay so I'll just I've just given in a button out here okay and on click I have given it a function of change page so I'll just make a function with that name okay. change page okay and just put in a function okay so I'll just do like this dot dollar Okay, and I'll just give this iron pages an ID of you can give any ID so I'll just give in here like my page okay and just give this here like my page and then we'll give it a function like select next okay. so the what the select next would do is that change this selected attribute to the next step okay and in case it is at the last position it will make this come back to the first step okay uh, for make this come back to the first step okay so one more thing to note out here is that uh, since i have given this iron page an id i can select this iron page by writing this dot dollar and then the id name itself and we don't have to write the whole thing like document document dot get element by id and all that stuff we can just directly reference it by this dot dollar and then the id name itself okay so if we just go into the browser now okay i'll just let for the whole page to tool and you can actually see that one is actually shown out here just increase the font size okay i'll just give this a font of like Okay, maybe I'll just let it be what it is so here we are in the page and if I just click on this change page button out here we'll what should happen that this thing should move on and the second thing should be shown and if I just click on this okay so now we have this second page and if I just click on this third time we'll have this th third page and just I click on this again we, we will just go back to the first page itself so actually this is an example of like what routing also works is that this element out here that is present in this page is actually just being replaced by another element or div uh, present in the web page and again out here but all there's a difference is that this URL is not changing and neither is like this URL mapped to uh, to any of the specific divs such that if I type like one two or three any anything out here that the corresponding thing would just show up out here so initially it is just working like an 
uh, a routing function in which the function just replaces the contents of the page with another data and only things missing is that we don't have a rout uh, routing function or something that maps to a uh, specific URL and one thing more is that we ha don't have the URL changing itself as soon as the data in here changes. So in the next tutorial we will start off with page.js and then we will add those functionalities such as mapping and, and the fun um, functionality in which the URL will change accordingly as we click on different buttons and different pages show up. So in the so please keep liking the tutorial guys and keep subscribing and thank you.